Project 5. Stop venous bleeding by applying direct pressure and a pressure dressing. Kindly note, the control bleeding training kit works best in groups of four workshop attendees per workstation. All the group members assist with a stop bleeding project working as a team. Wearing protective clothing is recommended for this project. Non-medical professionals may freely take part in this simulation project and are also allowed to apply the skills gained on real patients in an emergency or disaster situation. The control bleeding simulation arm, properly set up, is required for completing this project. You will need the control bleeding simulation arm, the IV bag filled with colored water or saline connected to an IV tube, the sphygmo manometer, 5 to 10 gauze squares, a roll of pressure bandage. Follow these steps. Don a pair of clean gloves. Identify the vein tube on the simulation arm. It is marked with blue tape. Identify the wound with a venous bleed. It is the smaller wound on the simulation arm. Close the connector on the outflow side of the vein. The connector on the inflow side should be open. Ensure that the IV tubing roller clamp is in the closed position. Connect the IV tube to the inflow side of the simulation arm's vein via the connector. Secure the blood pressure cuff around the full IV bag. Close the blood pressure cuff valve and inflate the cuff to around 20 millimeters mercury, representing the upper limit of peripheral adult venous pressure. Ensure that the pressure in the cuff is maintained at this recommended pressure level, as the pressure will tend to decline as the colored fluid leaves the IV bag. The instructor opens the roller clamp valve on the IV tube and instructs stop the bleed or stop the bleed within three minutes, or let's see which group can stop the bleed first. Start now! Observe the blood flowing out of the wound on the simulation arm. Apply tight finger pressure with your gloved hands directly on the bleeding point to stop the bleed. Place a few gauze squares on the bleeding point and reapply finger or hand pressure. Tightly roll the crate bandage around the arm over the gauze covering the bleeding point. If you notice any significant residual bleeding, Apply finger or hand pressure over the bandage. The IV bag may have to be folded over on itself within the blood pressure cuff when half empty, and when empty, it should be refilled. At the end of this project, open the blood pressure cuff valve, allowing the cuff to deflate, then close the IV line roller clamp and disconnect the IV tube from the simulation arm.